Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. Before we get started with our video today, we like your help in reaching a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe if you haven't already. There are a lot of TKIs out there and it might be hard to know which TKI is best for you. First line treatment TKIs. These TKIs are usually given to CML patients first and is considered the standard treatment. There are four of these TKIs, imatinib, glevic, desatinib, spricel, nalotinib, tisigna, basutinib, basulif. Later line treatment TKIs. These TKIs are given to CML patients if the first line TKIs have stopped working or has intolerable side effects. These later line treatment TKIs are panatinib, eclusig, Asimenib Semblix. So which TKI is best for you? The TKI that is best for you is the one that you can take every day as prescribed by your doctor, and especially the one that you have access to. Whether or not any specific TKI is available in your country and approved by insurance also impacts which TKI you take. Each TKI does have certain side effects or adverse effects that may cause issues with any pre-existing conditions that you might have. If you have cardiovascular risk factors, avoid taking nilotinib or panatinib. For pulmonary or lung issues, avoid taking dasatinib. If you have issues with liver function, avoid taking bosutinib. If you have chronic GI issues, avoid bosutinib. And imatinib may not be the best choice for you either. For patients with a lot of medical issues or who may be senior citizens, imatinib might be a good choice for you. So if you have to take a TKI that might have a negative impact on a pre-existing condition, what, what do you do? Please communicate with your doctor if you have a pre-existing condition they may contradict with your medicine. For example, ask your doctor if another TKI is available to, for you to switch to. If it's not possible to switch, to another TKI, that's potentially when you have to work on how you're going to deal with this pre-existing condition in conjunction with taking the TKI. Do you need to take additional medication for your pre-existing condition? Or is it just gonna be monitoring that pre-existing condition along with your current CML drug? What are the steps that you need to take to make sure that your pre-existing condition is dealt with if you still can only be on that one specific TKI? I was diagnosed with CML in 2011 at the age of 34. I was on Tisigna for eight and a half years. Since then, I have been treat in treatment for remission for the last four plus years. So in our channel, it's all about knowledge and wellness. The more you know about CML, the more you can know what to expect from this disease and also communicate better with your doctors. If you'd like more videos on CML and healthy living, Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching today. Together, Together we heal. heal.